podcasting is where it's at, man. Yeah. Well, what are some of your favorite things? Like, are there any, like, what are you obsessed with pop culture wise now? Like TV, couples, movies, music? Uh, yeah, let me go to my notes real quick. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the, the show is basically, it's whatever, it's funny because Brandy and I originally had a radio show together. That was the whole thing. We were trying to, uh, we were trying to get a syndicated pop show, CHR show. Um, created through iHeart. They kind of passed on it, but we were like, this is kind of fun. We're going to keep doing this. And I remember when we were, I was like, we need a bit. We need like some hook for our show. And she was like, well, I want to blow whatever I want to talk about. And I was like, that's not, that's not, that's not a show. And she goes, well, at the time, I think Miley was going through, Brandy is Miley Cyrus's older sister. And she's an old friend of mine. And so I think at the time, Miley was like getting destroyed for something she had done some you know ridiculous thing and everyone was doing was being mean on social media as they did um and she was like well i just want to talk about like positive things because it seems like the world is so freaking negative look what's happening to my sister and i was like okay there's the bit let's just talk about what our favorite things are let's not be negative there's enough of that in the world so let's just talk about positive things and so it's a lot of like movies that we love at the time shows that we love uh we do both read a lot so books that we love other podcasts that we love uh and then music that we love so let me just go through i mean we also talk a little bit about the bachelor just because i think people like to hear my perception of what's happening yeah um let's see i just watched ryan reynolds free guy and i don't know why i took so long to do that but that movie's amazing it's got heart it's funny it's cute uh ryan reynolds is uh, Ryan Reynolds, it's hilarious. I don't know why uh, I took so long to watch that. Everyone should go watch that. I watched Encanto. Encanto. Um, they're so mean that little girl. I can't believe that she didn't get a superpower. Um, that's just rude. Uh, her superpower is that she doesn't need like antidepressants because she's so positive, even though everyone uh, has superpowers except for her. And let's see, I watched Power of the Dog. Oh, we still do things that we don't like. Um, not one of my favorite things. Didn't love Power of the Dog. Uh, Never saw it. So they, they castrate a bull in the movie, and that was a lot to me. And let's see. Oh, um, After Party. That's on Apple Plus. Is so freaking good. Really? It is so funny and so good. And then, of course, we did like Tinder Swindler. And if you that like was Tinder, great. Dude, if you like Tinder Slim Swindler, then you should watch The Puppet Master. It's kind of similar, but instead of like convincing women to give him money because his enemies are after him, he convinces a bunch of people that he's a spy and they're a spy too. And like they're part of the M5 in England and it's bonkers. That one's great. So there you go. There wow. You go. I'll add that because I love Tinder Swindler. It was so good. Oh, yeah. Do you have like you've done so many parts of this business? You've mentioned like people on Bachelor Nation are not actors. Like, do you have any interest in acting at all? No, I'm not an actor. I, I've been asked to do a couple of things, but I don't want to do it. Who come here. Hold on one second. Sorry, my dog. We love it. We love a visit by a dog. Oh, outside. No, you just complain. Go outside. Uh, All right. Sorry. It's um, okay. I have no desire to act. Um, my fiance does that. It's not what I do. So you'll leave the act. I also, it's also really hard for me to learn lines because they're not my words. <laughs> uh, and I can't, like in, in my mind, I can't do it. Now, if you made me go do improv, I could 100% do that, no problem, but. I never understood how actors memorize all those lines. I know that they all do and it's a thing, but I don't understand it really at all myself. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an is. idiot. I just don't know how you do it when you have so many lines every week or every for a whole movie yeah i don't know either i do run lines with sarah a lot um because a lot a lot of stuff nowadays is put on tape and um i'm like but well, there's a part of me that's like waiting to be discovered because that we send the tape and it's just her face and i'm there i'm waiting for something like but hold on who is the guy pretending to be this person he's great stranger things have happened right yeah sure well, you know, speaking of your fiance, you guys met on social media. Mm -hmm. 
do you feel like, how do you feel about social media? Is there one social media platform other than where you guys met that you think is better than the other? I mean, we have Tinder, we have Instagram, we have all. Of, is, there any, is there any that you recommend? I mean, you know, it works for you and you're on The Bachelor. So there, there you go. Yeah, you're kind of an sure. expert. Um, yeah, I don't know. TikTok is, is really a deep, dark hole. And I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about it because it's not, I've, I've read this thing and I, this could be totally wrong, but I read this thing that because it's not American, I think it's a, a Chinese company that they can control the algorithm. So like whatever they want to be popular, they can make it be popular. And then people will want to do that because they want to become TikTok famous, right? Become viral stars. And so, and this could be totally wrong, but I heard it and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. So I guess in China, uh, wherever TikTok is originated, like the things that like do get really high on the For You page are like people doing really smart things like engineering stuff or like organizational stuff or like science stuff. And so then it, it implores their civilians to like be smart and like really elevates that. And then they have Americans be like, do this stupid dance uh, and you'll be famous. And it's like dumbing all of us down, which is kind of scary and kind of genius uh, in the same way. So I'm a little scared about TikTok. That I makes mean. logical sense. I swear, right? I, I feel like I heard something about like TikTok yeah. in China too. I don't know what, but I feel like that, that, sounds, that sounds familiar to me. Yeah. The worst to me was Clubhouse. I just was like, I don't know if you ever, I bypassed the, and now Clubhouse is kind of over. I don't even know what that is. You missed it, don't. It was during the pandemic. It was like, I, it was like, please don't make me learn another social media platform just because I have a yeah. podcast and I need to keep up. I just hate this, and it all worked out. Did you watch Modern Family before you? Like, yeah. were you a huge Modern Family fan? I mean, I know the whole world watches Modern Family, yeah. so I just assumed you did. But I mean, I know you did, but I didn't know you were like hardcore. Who was your other than Haley? Of course, who was your? Do you have a favorite Modern Family? character like when i was a, a viewer of the show or yeah I mean, I not know all of them so that's a that's a, a weird question to answer uh like when i watched the show well ed um i mean i i i'm older than i i'm older than i look maybe uh but like married with children was like a huge show for me growing up it was a show that like i wasn't allowed to watch i like i like sneak away and watch it so i loved ed being a part of that um but i do think that the star of the show is ty Burrell. like phil is the star um and maybe we'll disagree and say that sophia is i don't know but i think that that phil is the star and then when i got to meet all of them uh I think that Phil is my favorite, other than Sarah, is my favorite. He's like a guy's guy like me, like he likes to fish and like hike and camp and stuff, but then he's also like dresses really cool. Like he, he's got a style that like is very me. Uh, like I remember him, he's wearing these cool boots and I was like, Sarah, those boots, I don't know what those are, but that's Christmas right here. That's what I want. Um, and you know, like drinks old fashions and all that. He's like just a cool dude. And then he also is the funniest motherfucker that I've ever come across in my entire life. Like 